What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, we have another Game of Thrones, the card game, second edition tournament match for you. We are in the top four of the Massacre at Heart Home Road to Stalic event held in Cleveland, Ohio. On the left, we have James Booker. On the right, we got Jesse Carpenter. Jesse, we saw earlier in the top eight, uh, destroy me and eliminate me using his Greyjoy Dragon deck. Uh, he's got Balon, the Iron Islands Fishmonger in play. And an Iron Mines. On the other side, James is uh, playing Lannister, Reigns of Castamir. A classic favorite here over the last few months by players. Uh, and it looks like he's set up, I'm going to say, Jamie Lannister, uh, the Tickler, and a Rose Road. I think that's actually the Altar Jamie Lannister, I think from the Nationals tournaments, like uh, US Nationals, which I believe that's where that playmat is from, the ETX uh, Ever Evergreen Tabletop Expo, where uh, US Nationals was held uh, back in, I think, June. Looking forward to Canadian Nationals playing in that, uh, hopefully. Um, coming up on, I believe, September 22nd. Uh, Weekend uh, held on the Friday is the Joust. The Saturday is a Swiss, I believe. Top or, or the cut, sorry, top eight. Uh, so look forward to that. Hopefully, I can get there with some cameras. Maybe even do a live stream like I did last year. Uh, still trying to find that out. Uh, but yeah, watch for that coming up on the channel in September. Make sure you subscribe and hit that little uh, notification bell button uh, so you're sent a uh, notification every time uh, we post a new video or go live. So Noble Cause into a winter festival here. And it looks like uh, Jesse, the Bra or the, the Greyjoy player is going first. He gets a dupe on Balon. And we see he's put two power tokens on Winter Festival. Uh, he doesn't have that two power yet. He's just putting that there as a reminder. Uh, at the end of t challenges phase, the interrupt to uh, get that two power. Some people put that there as a reminder. So that's all that is. And he's got a great haul in play. I think he needs to get uh, at least another character on the board, hopefully. And he's used a great haul. He nailed the um, Iron Islands Fishmonger to get Asha into play. Spending two gold. And spends the final gold to get another Iron Mine. So he feels pretty safe here. No intrigue icons, though. And uh, that's great for the Lancer player to see since he's going to be able to run wild on the intrigue challenges. And uh, having that Reigns of Casimir agenda, that's uh, what you want to see across the board is no green icons. <laughs> now he's got to get something in front of uh, Balon and Asha to not just get uh, ripped apart here and uh, rushed uh, to the loss. Whole family. Whole family's coming out to play. So just want to pre-warn you, I was sitting beside the table watching this game, and I clearly remember James basically looked like he was going to fall asleep on his cards at this point. He looked very, very tired uh, by the time of the elimination. Uh, so it was forgetting about cards in his hand, forgetting about triggers, playing a little sloppy. So uh, just warning you, warning you now, uh, it's, it's James Booker. Feel free to leave comments in the description below harassing him about uh, all his play mistakes so then he can harass you back. Um, but you should check out James Booker has this uh, little 10 minute podcast he does called like wall talk I believe um, I listened to a couple episodes it's not bad uh, you know if you're okay with him doing uh, alternative voices um, and craziness but uh, yeah it's an interesting little podcast uh, 10 minutes so you know like uh, at least you can try it out and uh, if it uh, isn't something you're interested in at least you only wasted 10 minutes But I appreciate any uh, Thrones uh, LCG-focused uh, media to help uh, add on to our awesome uh, little hobby here. As you know, I do like it. I, I produce some myself, if you didn't know. It's called uh, Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. Oh, wait. You're watching it right now. <laughs> so we got the mountain in play. 
big 10 cost bomb, or sorry, a 10 strength bomb, 7 cost, with a bodyguard. Um, so, uh, Balon, uh, can't just really attack on his own here and get an unopposed challenge. He's gonna have Jamie who can block on the military, or the mountain. Uh, but still no power icons on the board for the Lancer player. So we got the weakness in Intrigue on the Greyjoy side, but we have a weakness in power uh, on the uh, Lancer side so far. So we're in challenges, I guess. Pre-challenge actions. Looks like uh, James wants to use a goal to Nightmare's Asha. Not even going to let her get a stealth off. She's lost her stealth and her stand ability. So the power challenge could go unopposed, but uh, we're not going to have any military happening here, is, is what uh, James is trying to not lose, so he doesn't have to lose anything for claim. So we got a power challenge with Balon. I would assume it's unopposed since the Lancer player has no money left. No way of ambushing anything in. So it's unopposed and Balon will get a Renown. So two power up uh, on the Greyjoy side so far. And he's going to pass challenges over to the Lancer player to do his military and intrigues as he pleases. We got a military, big, big military here with uh, the Mountain and Jamie. No uh, two gold for put to the sword. Asha blocks the unopposed. So we got claim, of course. It's going to be the dupe off Balon. Which I think is the right call. You don't want to walk into a march. So he needs that iron on his fishmonger there to protect Balon and Asha from hitting and hit from a turn two march to the wall. They both get renown there on the military challenge. And the pillage is a great crack in which I'm sure Jesse wanted to see next round, assuming he doesn't have one in hand, uh, to give Balon stealth also and to fuel his uh, unopposed rush deck here. So that was a big pillage hit either way. I think you do the intrigue here with Jamie and save the tickler for dominance and then do the tickler ability. Yep, so we got an entry here with Jamie. Unopposed, of course. Because uh, you can get the range trigger off if you wanted, but it looks like he just passes, goes to claim. Well, you ranked anything in. And, uh, yeah, he just uh, gets an Iron Islands Fishmonger out of hand. Uh, and that's it. So Dominance should go to the Lancer player. Uh, yeah, they get Winter Festival, of course. Two power there on the Greyjoy side. And he tickled off, I think, Silence's crew uh, is the card there. Yeah, Jesse's saying he'd enjoyed drawing into Great Kraken and a Silence's crew for sure. Silence's crew can get up into the strength range uh, to basically block the mountain on their own uh, if you can get enough gold tokens on them. So we have Time of Plenty into a fan-made, uh, I guess they're both fan-made alt arts, I'm pretty sure. Uh, counting coppers on the other side to draw three cards. And then another extra card on top of the draw phase from Time of Plenty. So Lancer player getting tons of cards here. And having that 10 reserve is, is pretty sweet uh, when your opponent also gives you cards. Six cards in one turn, Jesse. Oh, time of plenty. Who made that time of plenty? Oh, I know his now, but yours I didn't know what it was. Oh, yeah. Copy. yeah, and there's uh, there's myself there just checking what that plot was, making a mental time note in my head, uh, so I know for later when I'm voicing over the video, which is right now. Wow, Inception uh, or not? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> All the Balons are accounted for. Yeah, so it looks like uh, initiative was won by the Lancer player. He chose the Greyjoy player to go first. He liked how last round went with the Grigio player going first, so he's going to let it happen again here. So 
So a little Theon is in play. He's going to be able to sneak military challenges right past uh, Jamie and uh, the Mountain. And we got Sir Jorah to help on the Intrigue. Maybe stop some range triggers or win an Intrigue of, him, of his own. On three. And saving three gold on the Greyjoy side. Over to the Lannisters for marshalling. Oh, James forgetting he has a Rose Road, so he gets three gold here. Jesse, here I am just trying to He's got a great haul to help him out also. Play myself right out of this. How about I think you need the help? Gregor Lottery is just it's waiting best, for right? it. Yeah. I cannot wait until that card hits rotation. Yeah, I hear Jesse uh, definitely doesn't like the mountain card, doesn't think it's good for the game. Can't, can't wait to see it rotated out, he says. I hear that from a lot of players. Uh, last year, during uh, regional season, I played Mountain in my deck. I actually sometimes put him in three copies. Just because uh, when military got hot in the meta, or like Hal Drogo, I just like to up my count on uh, Gregor to help stop the military shenanigans on my opponent. Because uh, sometimes they just don't even want to do military because they don't want to walk into that Mountain Trigger or the Renown in general. Uh, so he's great on defense to help uh, basically stop my board from getting destroyed by a military claim. Uh, and then when you can use him on offense, even better. Um, but yeah, so I, I really like the mountain uh, to help my deck, uh, but my opponents, a lot of the times, when I put them on the board, I would just hear complaints about that card. Not about me playing it, obviously, but they just hate the effect. They hate that the card was designed and printed and it's played and, and how it can swing a game. and It's basically random. But yeah, he's definitely got built-in weaknesses. I mean, he's only a monocon. Um, you have to throw a bunch of attachments on him to get him other icons or to keep him safe. And uh, he's definitely weak to the uh, the best kill spell in the game, uh, which is uh, Tears of Lease. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, there's no spells in the game. It's actually called an event, and it's Tears of Lease. I'm just uh, making jokes here. So we got, uh, he played a uh, Lord's, or a uh, Land of Sport Merchant and a Western Fiefdoms. Still has three gold. But does he need to save that gold for anything? Does he got to put to the sword in hand, a Tears of Lease? A burn Man he wants to jump in. Widow's Whale, maybe. Looks like he does have something he could play with that Great Hall, maybe, and the three gold, but uh, it's just... Just deciding to not play anything, so pass over to the Greyjoy player. How many cards in hand? Eight cards in the Lancer player's hand. That's a lot. So we got a military stealthing the mountain with Asha. Kneel that Jamie down. Oh man. I will do terrible. So let's go. On a post? Jamie's the only one that kind of posed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Dangerous. A man like me starts to think. So we've got nine strength right now with Asha and Balon coming in. Mountain's been stealth. Jamie could kneel and block the unopposed since he doesn't get uh, his strength reduced to basically nothing in the challenge by Balon's ability. And that's unopposed. Asha will stand. He's going to play We Do Not So to get the bodyguard off of the mountain. And no cancel on that. It's it's gone. No hands judgment. So he gets an unopposed power. <laughs> Making jokes about can't triggers. Great Krakens in the discard pile. And claim should probably be the Landsport Merchant. Which is what I think Jesse did the military challenge first for. He's hoping uh, he's hoping the Landsport Merchant gets killed so then Theon can get an unopposed power challenge and the Landsport Merchant doesn't block him. But he's going to kill the Tickler. And Renown on Balon. So that's the thing. Je uh, James, uh, James Booker realizing 
He needs to keep a power icon on the board because that is his only power icon. So that Landsport Merchant is actually better than his Tickler right now. And we got the power stealthing the Landsport Merchant, of course. So instead of using Theon, he just goes ahead and uses Asha to stealth. Unopposed stands Asha. Loses a power. So you get unopposed. Power claim. And we're up to eight power on the Greyjoy side already. Second plot here. Uh, but we have the Lancer player still to, to, still to do his challenges. Now he debates doing an intrigue challenge here. I mean, you can stop the range trigger by using Shajora on defense. Or you can try to do an intrigue and probably it would go unopposed. Um, because Jamie most likely won't kneel, but I mean, if he's got a good hand, he might try to protect it. But he's got eight cards, so I mean, losing one card is not a big deal. So military. military 15, who would have guessed that? <laughs> 15 strength military here. Surprise. <laughs> and Theon's going to block for two to block the unopposed. All right, we're going to have a reaction here with two gold. Nope, it's not put to the sword time. So claim's going to be the Iron Island's Fishmonger. And we got Renown again. And we got a Nightmares off the mountain uh, pillage. Yeah, I guess it's a, kind of a trade. I don't know how to spend the gold for it. Take it. <laughs> He's basically saying that Nightmares evened out. Because normally he would have paid the gold to Nightmares, but he didn't have to pay the gold. And he basically missed on the on his trigger hitting a Nightmare. So it's kind of like an evened out without having to pay a gold. Assuming we'll see an intrigue challenge here. Uh, get blocked by Ser Jorah. Uh, five. Intrigue challenge of five. Yeah, that's why Jorah stood around. He's, he's waiting to block the uh, range trigger and block on a pose, but he's still going to lose one card to claim, and it is. We do not so. Good pull. It'd be nice to pop that great haul out of there, I'm sure, to choke out the Lancer player a little bit from uh, playing more bombs on the table for cheaper. Not sure why he didn't. I'm assuming he might have Hand's Judgment in hand since he has two gold saved. Maybe he was worried about the put to the sword and didn't want to waste an Iron Mines on it. Uh, so he saved two gold for it. But uh, he did get two unopposed challenges there. So he could have used that Weed or Not So on that Great Hall. I think might not have been a bad call. Unless he's saving it for bodyguards later. Now that he knows his opponent has it. We got an opposed, oppo blocked, fully blocked power challenge with Asha there, uh, and a Burnman jumping in for two gold. Which you think the Burnman should have jumped in? No, they wouldn't. Yeah, never mind. Sorry, that was on the Balon challenge, uh, right? That was military, so the Burnman wouldn't have done anything. Never mind. But they could have at least came in for claim to help the Ticklers still stick around. And could have been there doing his dominance action. And another green icon to help with reigns, I guess. <laughs> he might have had other stuff in hand, though, that maybe he was holding the Burnman back. Didn't want to just waste uh, the two gold on the Burnman. Uh, maybe had other events to play. But just decided that uh, since he didn't play them, he'd just play the Burnman out anyway. So we have March to the Wall into Counting Coppers. So March to the Wall, he's looking to get rid of either Ser Jorah, since he's an intrigue icon and a threat to him triggering reigns, or you're getting rid of someone awesome like little Theon or Asha, which uh, all around is good for the Lancer player. And Counting Coppers is looking to dig for his pieces for the rush here, like Plaza of Pride, Great Kraken, maybe Euron Greyjoy. Some more dupes for saves. Who knows? Who knows what he's looking for? So 
So Greyjoy player going first, of course, uh, chosen by the, the Lancer players. Done it again here, winning initiative. We get a dupe on Theon. Uh, looks like he's got an Iron Fleet Scout or a Sea Tower. I'm not sure. It's zero cost location there under his hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think it's an Iron Fleet Scout, actually. So that's going to help Balon get up higher in strength to kind of knock Jamie out of defending. And if you can get Asha stealthing the mountain, he's in a, he's in a good place, I think. And we have a Targaryen Loyalist. Cool. And saves a goal. Over to Lannister player is going to get five gold, has a Western Fiefdoms and a Great Hall and a Lannisport Merchant to work with. Are we going to see Tywin? Are we going to see Seven Cost Cersei? Are we going to see Tyrion? Or are we just going to see the Hound jump into play during the challenges phase? <laughs> All the fun things Lancer can do with uh, four gold in those econ locations. <laughs> and we hear the Thompsons, Chris and uh, Jessica playing each other at the uh, stream table next door there. Yelling at each other, doing their husband and wife thing, making fun of each other for Chris flipping, I guess, uh, Varys Riddle into trading. And uh, Jessica calling him an idiot. It was fun to watch those two play each other. <laughs> you can do so here on Rob's Gaming Table. <laughs> Yeah, and I just hear here. I remember after that, I said, "Hey guys, guys, can I give you my portable audio recorder to take home with you in the car? I would love to hear the comment that whole, uh, you know, use it as like a bonus track after their match, just play on a video to listen to them fight. It'd be great. <laughs> They're great sports. Fun to watch those two play. So, milk of the poppy on Asha Greyjoy." Milk of the poppies going off here. What the fuck is going on? I should have marched her. <laughs> uh, that's okay, I guess. So since Asha's lost stealth, she's not gonna be able to knock the mountain out of the military challenge with Balon anymore. So we might just see Theon coming in on a military challenge, and Balon coming in on the power challenge. Since he marched Sir Jora, he's lacking the intrigue icons, which is not a good spot to be in. And you heard him say he should have just marched Asha, but I don't know if that's the best call. There and there's uh, Tyrion, who's got stealth, which is huge, and a power icon, which is exactly what the Lancer player needed right now, I think. But still not enough to defend against uh, Balon unless we have a Widow's Whale with that one gold. So power challenge here with um, Balon, but remember we do have the Iron Fleet Scout, which does get plus two also, so maybe that Whittles will, uh, after saying that, uh, doesn't seem like such a great idea. So we see him playing with that one gold, so he definitely has something in hand that he could play with that one gold, which is most likely Whittles will. Maybe another Nightmares. Or a Nightmares. I don't know if he's played any yet. And yeah, it is Nightmares, and it, Balon is blanked. So now, the uh, Landsport Merchant can block the unopposed. But he still loses his power claim, and no renown for Balon. Good nightmare, sir. And now Theon coming out on the military challenge. No money this time for a Nightmares. Not until Tyrion can get some uh, gold generated from an Intrigue challenge. That won't be till his own challenge is... Uh, Happen since there's no intrigue icon on the Greyjoy side. And of course, that's unopposed. 
So on a post power gain, claim is probably going to be the Landsport Merchant, which it is. And uh, now the Lancer player's board is very March friendly. Uh, so he's going to have to try to get a burn men in there, I think. And now we have a military challenge. Uh, with no put to the sword, since he didn't open with a entry challenge, he didn't want to use Tyrion. It looks like he wants to save Tyrion for a power challenge, which makes sense. you got to slow this uh, Greyjoy deck down uh, that is sitting at 10 power right now. <laughs> uh, military 15. That milk is really doing some work for you right here, buddy. Yeah, the huge milk of the poppy there. I agree with Jesse. Huge milk of the poppy. All right, so reactions. Johnny Ray. Pose, unopposed, uh, claim. Oh, so we got a military claim here. Who do you choose? Oh, no. you kill the Targaryen loyalist. You leave yourself open. Uh, for the march to hit you also. But we see the march already played on the Lannister side, but does the Greyjoy player want to play his own march? I don't know. Maybe you kill Asha. If you don't have confiscation, you just kill Asha. But, uh, of course, Asha's chosen for claim, and then Iron Mines is triggered. Walking into that, sir. Um, Renown, Renown, Pillage. Ooh. And pillage is what? That's not very nice. It's Balon. I think he's got Victorion. Oh, he's got Balon Dupe. Balon Dupe, I think, came off the top there. It's King Balon up in here. This is just Lord, sir. This is just Lord. I should, no I should, promotion. I should learn my cards, man. Uh, let's see what else we have here. I guess oh. I'll choose Balon. Not I guess today. I guess I'll choose Balon. Oh, okay. It was Euron that came off, and Jess, or James, sorry. Uh, being silly there, pointed at Balon to say he's gone, but since uh, seven doesn't match six, uh, you can't do that. So that's why Jesse's making jokes about it not being King Balon. Yeah, let's go. Intrigue. So now, intrigue challenge here with Jamie. Two gold generated from Tyrion. So that, that Mountain's Pillage, man, has been getting some great cards off the top that Jesse would love to see in the next rounds. Of course, not getting them. And then we have a range trigger flipping to get counting coppers triggered off of Varus Riddle. So the Lancer player, James, will draw three more cards. Um, and so we react. Pose, not oppose. Claim. All really good cards, actually. This one's a And newly made Lord grabbed on the entry claim. But it's still a super solid card. And yeah. And, power. and now a power challenge south in the Targaryen Loyalist What's with uh, tar Tyrion Lannister. What was it? Uh, tears. <laughs> and James <laughs> just admitting he forgot to play Tears. And I think that was like the second or third turn in a row where he could have done Tears. He had the money for it, had it in hand. And I remember sitting on James' side of the table and just seeing it. And like in my head, I'm just shaking my head, imaginary, you know, like this guy missing the Tears triggers over and over again was funny. Lots of juicy targets across the board you want to hit with that tears. And uh, being a little tired, he said, I forgot forgot a reaction there. And Jesse says, what was it? Thinking it was something on the board. And he, and James answers him, oh, it's just tears of lists. So he fully just tells his opponent it was tears. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we all had a chuckle from that. And now he's got to chuck cards for taxation. Uh, looks like he's getting rid of uh, Sir Lance the Lannister there is one of the cards. Trying to get down to seven cards here. Which is better than the five reserve that he had uh, before he flipped the Reigns plot. I mean, he knows it was discarded by the first time playing, right? <laughs> like half away. Jesse was up. We were up, we were up too late. Oh, yeah. We were up too late. Dad life. Understood. I'm just fucked. Sure. Somehow, big stuff. Lannister has the lead. Who would have guessed it? Yeah, right? So, uh, power totals here. Looks like the Greyjoy player is at 9 power. And Lancer player is at 10. So it's turned around here for the Lancer player. He's caught up in power and taken the lead. And I think you Valor here is what was the assumption. That's how uh, the Greyjoy player should play it. Play Valor here. Uh, you kill Tyrion, you kill the mountain, 
You save Balon with a dupe. You save Theon with a dupe. You maybe keep Asha in play with an Iron Mines. And then you're just staring at Jamie across the board. Which is uh, what I think is the right play here. That's what uh, Jesse should do. And I'm sure James is thinking that's what's going to happen here. So he's looking at his hand, trying to figure out which plot to play. And you see he just chucked away a Tears for Taxation there. Maybe he figured since he's never going to play it, might as well just throw it away. Maybe he has two now. Since he drew so many cards last turn. And wow, so yeah, I thought the Valor was coming play trading into Rise of the Kraken. So no Valor here. And I remember talking with Jesse after this game, just thinking he should have Valored on that turn. Um, let's see what uh, James does with the 10 gold. But uh, he just gave 3 gold to a 2 claim... Uh, plot across the board, low gold. And he only collected two. He should collect three more here. So he plays a Rose Road. Hopefully he remembers to collect that other three gold from trading. Oh. Okay, there. He gets it there. Okay. Can't forget that. Oh, Five gold, God. great haul. You can tell he's a little rattled. Can he close it out here? I mean, he's got Balon and an Iron Fleet Scout. He's got Theon, uh, who could sneak in there with a possible unopposed. So Great Kraken, or Rise of the Kraken, sorry, um, giving him extra power. And he's got the uh, Victorion now out there with a dupe. Still no Intrigue Icon. Let's see, he's left the Mountain out there. He's left Jamie out there. He's left Tyrion out there. No Valor. I think he should have Valored. Might have put him in a good spot. But James does have a handful of cards and has 10 gold. 11 gold, actually, to work with now. You see, he does have a Widow's Will in hand. We just saw it go by there when he was shuffling his cards. But yeah, I think getting, getting the power... like. Sending the mountain to the dead pile and getting three power away from your opponent is huge. And getting rid of Tyrion, who fuels the challenge phase with extra gold to fuel the Lancer tricks, but also has that stealth keyword, which is what the uh, Greyjoy player does not want across the board from him. Although he still doesn't have a stealth of his own, since that Milk of the Poppy is uh, really doing work on Asha. No great Kraken yet to give uh, Balon stealth. Will James have a Nightmares in hand like he did in the previous round where he could Nightmares bail on? So James has to get something on the board here to stop Balon from winning that power challenge. Which would be two claim and renown. That's three power right there. If it can be unopposed, he'll get uh, an extra two power on the challenge due to the plot. So that'll be five power on the power challenge. And that gets him one away. And he can also get an unopposed military right now with Theon. Not to mention the renown on uh, Victorion. Could be thrown into one of those. Oh, I guess into the challenge with Balon, most likely. So, I mean, maybe that's why he played Rise of the Kraken here. Thinking he can close it out. And if you can win the military first, actually, a two-claim military might be pretty devastating, but... And we have James Booker reading Rise of the Kraken. Not knowing what it does. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. You got 10 gold. He's got a Great Hall. Two Western Fiefdoms. So, I mean, he could play a big 7-cost bomb and still have money to spare. Play a couple, you know, five costers and still have money. Tyrion gold in the challenge phase possibly to help him uh, jump burn men in. The Hound maybe. I think the Hound is, is the big play. And we know he's sitting on a Widow's Whale. If he has a Hound or a character he can Widow's Whale to get up into Balon strength territory, uh, it could be too much. 
Too much for uh, for Balon to win the challenge. So we have the Eerie played out. So James is assuming this is going further than this round. Uh, so he's played the Eerie to help him uh, save on the Valor there. And uh, we got the Hound in play. So he just plays the Hound straight out using uh, the Western Fiefdoms and the Great Hall. So yeah, if he gets a Widow's Whale out on the Hound, that puts the Hound at 7 strength. And uh, that's enough for him to defend against Balon um, to not win unopposed. Which is huge against the Rise of the Kraken turn. Just takes two power away from the, the Brathian player, or the uh, Greyjoy player, uh, Jesse, from uh, helping him close it out here. And it looks like he, wow, he's sitting, I don't know how much gold there, eight gold or something. Uh, he's sitting on six gold, maybe, uh, the Lancer player. You're sure? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like, yeah, that's why. So challenges, no challenge actions here. Looks like Theon's coming in on the military challenge. Two strength, has his little ability. Anyone with higher strength can't block. I, 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 I'm There's sorry, an, I'm sorry. Oh. sorry. It's like military. Oh, it's going to be a power challenge? That's fine. So two power on the unopposed. Claim of two. So that's four power total. 13 power he's at. I really think you should have did the military first uh, with Balon and Victorion, but instead he, they're coming in on a power challenge here, and we're gonna have Iron Fleet Scout Balon buffing uh, Balon to seven. Military, yes. But uh, oh, sorry, military now. He did power first with Theon. Military challenge now. I think you should have done it the other way around. So 12 strength right now. A mountain can come in and block. I'm a 13. 13 power strength. I'm a 13 power. So 13 power. 12 strength in the challenge. Two renowns. Do you have any cards in hand? No. No. Oh, what are these? Oh, yeah. Cards in hand. Two cards in hand. Two cards in hand. One gold. One gold. All right. All right. So the mountain can block but not win and the game will be lost or if he has a widow's will in hand like I thought I saw he could bomb that in on the hound and then block with the hound in the mountain for 16 and win the challenge hound can go back hound can get played back out so can the widow's will and the mountain will get a renown and then you have hound Tyrion and Jamie coming back uh, to attack the Greyjoy player with a pretty exposed board now that he's knelt uh, three of his characters. So the mountains came. All right, all right, all right, all right. So James is thinking this through here. Oh yeah, I guess. Oh, sorry. He's oh. having a little trouble uh, remembering what's in his hand and then what's on the board and. We'll treachery the... Oh, he's actually going to treachery the uh, Iron Fleet Scout. So Balon will sit there at five. So he had two answers in hand. He's got the Widow's Whale and the uh, Treachery. And uh, we're going to see the Hound and the Mountain Block here. Are you still opposing it? Yeah, I'm opposing it. 16. 16 block yeah. on a 10 strength power challenge now. Hound will go back to hand. And we got uh, the Mountain getting uh, power and pillaging something off the top of the deck there. I was thinking of doing a challenge. So the fact James there on trading didn't really play much. Uh, he didn't do the Eerie is what they're talking about right now. But since James saved like six gold, maybe he didn't have many characters in hand to play. 
So I really think Valor last turn, uh, leaving him with just Jamie on the board. He might have just marshaled in the Hound only. Hound and Jamie. And uh, against Balon, uh, Victorion. And because uh, he still would have had a two gold plot uh, with Valor. He would have got three gold from his opponent. Still could have get Victorion into play. And would have had like Asha with the milk, yes. Uh, but Balon, Theon, and Victorion out on the board um, to fight against the Hound and Jamie. I'm not sure what else James has in hand. Maybe he has something different. Maybe he only saved gold because he wants to bounce the Hound. Um, but yeah, it'd be a completely different game here without Tyrion and the Mountain running around. And uh, if Hound and Jamie lost the military challenge, we could have seen uh, either the Hound or Jamie die to military claim. Uh, but instead, we're seeing the Lancer player just. Uh, I think spank the uh, Greyjoy player around a little bit here with treacheries and the, you know, high quality characters they have. And you remember the tears trigger this time. And he's going to do it on Balon. So if he can get to the next round, uh, I think we're going to see Valor from the uh, Greyjoy player. Right now the Lancer player is sitting at 10 power. I think he's looking at range triggers right now. Can we take that back? Yeah. <laughs> Mind if I just like, do all that? <laughs> yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Oh god. Uh, Give me your bone tips. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's fine. He could flip into wildfire, which would kill somebody on the board, most likely Asha. Because they cannot be saved. So did you do the tears? Yeah, I did the tears. So it's a reaction away. I can do this too. On Balon? Yeah, on Balon. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, that's what's going on. I'll tap the house back. And it looks like we're getting a range trigger here, and it is wildfire. And Asha will be chosen as claim. Milk of the poppy's gone. And most likely Balon's going to save himself with the dupe or the iron mines. Either or. Should keep him around for next round even if Valor hits. And we got a burn man coming in. And power challenge with Tyrion. And that's unopposed. So 12 power now on the Lannister side. Uh, looks like 12 on the other side, too. So we're tied at 12. Yep. And now 14 on the Lancer side after winning Dominance. Or sorry, 13. Sorry, 13. 13. Yeah, I think Valor and, and then the Great Kraken would have been the proper order, but you might have to Valor here. Keep in this game here and not let the Lancer player win it. Oh, now he's got Eerie too. So now Eerie's going to help save a character, which is the mountain I think he chose, which keeps four power in play. I mean, he, he maybe doesn't have to Valor here. Maybe he has something he can play in hand to help him rush again, maybe win initiative. The Greyjoy player can go first again. But he still has the Hound to deal with who can jump into play. And he still has that Whittle's Whale, which could be trouble. And who knows how many more treacheries are sitting in the Lannister player's hand. That could cancel the Iron Fleet Scout. Very tight game here. What you expect, I guess, in a top four. If you want to check out the other top four match, you can check that out in the live stream that was on the channel. I'll throw that in this playlist also at the end of the playlist. Um, so you can watch that after this match. Uh, and first snow into Counting Coppers. And it sounds like Jesse's thinking that's game there. So he's going to draw, see what he gets off Counting Coppers. But first snow winning initiative, he thinks it's over. 
because uh, he'll just close it on the military challenge, getting some renown. And yeah, of course, James decides to go first after winning initiative. Looks like Jesse played his highest initiative plot there, which is only three that he had left, and was hoping to go first. And yeah, Jesse's just going to concede, so James wins. Congrats to James. He's going to the finals, and like I said, you can see all that match also on the live stream. Uh, and thanks to everyone who supports the channel on patreon.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. You see all their names scrolling by there, including Jesse, Jesse Carpenter, who very sadly lost there. Uh, it's very disappointing. I was rooting for you, Jesse. Uh, trying to see a great joy player take it there. But he doesn't, so uh, just, or James will go face the other winner of the other top four game in the finals. And stay tuned to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, hit subscribe, hit that little alarm bell notification, and hit the like button always. And we have more games coming up from other tournaments, more Game of Thrones coverage. We're going to try to get some videos from Gen Con. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel for that. Lots more tabletop gaming coverage coming up. I appreciate all your support, and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.